Today we're going to look at demo of an AI app that is powered by Langflow called Inside Express. So you basically give a topic and it's going to generate insights for you based on the research by agents. And we're going to look at how one could build this. The way this works is that we provide a topic. In this case, I'm saying that I want some insights on NVIDIA and then I am providing my email address. So what's going to happen is it goes through the topic. It searches internet for the right articles. And then based on that, it generates a comprehensive report. So now I can see here that a generated report with images, with summary of the topic, with title. Also, we can click on these links and it takes you to the reference article. So that's quite nice. And all of this work is done by AI agents. And we're going to look at how we can build that. The engine that's powering this app is Langflow, and this is version 1.1. And you can see that the look and feel of this version is completely different. Now, it's got beautiful UI, it's got beautiful components, it's got this color coding that can help you understand which components can we connect together and where can we connect them. And in addition to that, we got these beautiful stickies here. And also, there are a bunch of tools that you can utilize. So there are bundles that you can see assigned for different providers. So in case of Langchain, we have many of the offering from Langchain. Now, in this particular case, what we have done is we take the news API, and this is one of the blocks available in Langflow. So if I were to search for API, then I see that this is under data, and I can drag and drop this tool here, and then I can add Add some values and basically call that API. So in this case, we already have that. So I'm going to delete. And as we see, news API, this is calling the newsapi.org. And you can make an account and you get some free credits for any new account. Now, in addition to that, there is some information available on providing authorization here. And now once we have the news API block working, then we can connect it as a tool. Now, something really cool with Langflow version 1.1 is that the agents are either agents by themselves or you can use them as tools, which is pretty cool. So in this case, what we did is we dragged and dropped an agent block. So this is available under the agents and you'll see that this is the agent block. We provide some info. You can select providers from here. So I've selected OpenAI. There are many other providers that you can use and then for those providers, there will be some model names that you can select. And once you select the model name, then you add API key. This is something you have available from those providers. And then you provide some instructions. Now, in this case, we have provided some instructions on the formatting of the agent. Feel free to pause and go through the prompt. Now I'm going to go to the next step. So basically, I am attaching this API tool to the agent and the agent itself as a tool to another agent. So this is the beauty of the new version where you can actually have multiple agents talking to each other. Some could be orchestrating, some could be tools by themselves. You can call other flows. So there are many different options available now with the agent components. Now, this one here is also very similar. Again, I'm selecting OpenAI. Now I'm saying that this is an orchestrator. It's going to have options to select different tools. So you can also go through the prompt here. But at the end, what it's doing is it communicates with the user. It has some output that we're going to use in our UI and then it researches. So news API is going to aggregate results on the topic. Then our agent summarizes that. Then once all of that is available to our orchestrator, it's going to go to the next step, which is to generate a newsletter, which is the goal for this application. And in here, we're just saying that, okay, you have the available info, what you need to do is generate a newsletter in a certain styling. This is something you can copy paste or you can give your own styling instructions. And at the end, I'm saying that once you have the newsletter ready, then you email
email it to the email address provided. So next is the Composio tool. And in this case, we are using it to send an email. So Composio is a provider where they have many different tools that you can use to connect with your applications. For example, you can connect with Google Sheet or Gmail, or there are different providers that you can use as tools. And it could be either a trigger, for example, when you receive an email, it triggers the flow, or it could be an action where it will perform an action. For example, we are sending an email in this case. So now that we have our flow together with multiple agents talking to each other, we can run an example. So we can run with a simple prompt. And if we do that, we get a certain response. So these are some of the examples ran before where it gathers news on multiple topics. One of the main things that we need is the API. So this is what was used in building the application and connecting it together. So now going back, I am going to change this topic. I'm going to say to research on OpenAI and send it to my email address and hit generate report. So what's happening is in the background, it is going to do the research. It is going to gather the relevant data and we can have a look at it. So I have my terminal open here. It seems like a lot of text. It's going to the news API, gathering all information about OpenAI and the topics those are relevant. And then it brings all of that together. It summarizes that. So we have the summary here of the articles available. And then based on the instructions that we gave as the article format or newsletter format, it's going to generate the newsletter for us. And then we go back and we see that we have the summary of all the topics those were about OpenAI. So that's pretty cool. And if we were to see our email, it will probably send us an email using the Composio tool, given that you have the Composio tool set up properly with the right API. The web app is available and free to use, as well as Langflow version 1.1 is out. And you can either run it on your computer or use the hosted version on Astra data stacks. The template for newsletter agent is also going to be available on the store so you can use that and experiment it locally. Let me know if you found it helpful.